Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at a new brand of Grand Design Travel Trailer. This one is perfect for your lightweight tow vehicles. This is the 2023 Grand Design Imagine AIM AIM. This particular model is 16 ml. We are going to be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features. Then we're going to give you three things we love about the AIM and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today, I am super excited to be showing you guys the AIM, the newest of the Grand Designs, a very lightweight Imagine. Before I begin, Gotta say hi to Will. Hey, Will. Hey, guys. How's it going today? It's going good. Guys, I'm so excited to show you the same. I think we brought some the end of last year, didn't we, from Open House? Okay, maybe. Um, that would have been you and Jen, not me. Yeah, I think we took a look at one or two, but I'm really excited to be able to dive a little bit deeper in now that they've been in production for some time and there's a little bit of customer feedback. We can show you guys what everybody's talking about. Now, Will, this is not a regular Grand Design Imagine. Correct. Explain who the AIM is for. The AIM is for, it's designed for that like mid-size SUV market. Yes. So, um, depending on which floor plan you get, um, you know, you're, you're definitely good with something like a Suburban or Tahoe or Sequoia or Expedition, those larger size. Um, some of the smaller ones you might, keyword might, you need might. to check. Always know before you tell. Yeah, you might be okay with something like a Highlander or something like that. Possibly always know before you tell. Yes. And, well, bonus. Um, we're gonna be taking a look at the 15BH and the 18BH okay. in this video as well. Nice. After we're done taking a look at this one. Okay. Let's begin. Model is Grand Design Imagine. This is the 16ML. The actual tip tip length is 20 feet long. The dry weight's only 3,780 pounds and the hitch weight is 412 pounds. Again, for that midsize SUV with an asterisk. Yes. So you check your midsize. Wait, what was the dry weight again? Uh, Dang that, Sorry. Well, 3,780 yeah. pounds. Yeah, so again, possibly. Right up here, we do have a very nice power tongue jack. Propane tanks go here, and your batteries go here. Now, a lot like the Transcend, this does not feel like aluminum. Um, no, I think or this is, the, nope, this is the same. Oh crap, what did they call that? He called it like a, a vinyl. Vinyl, that's yes. what it is, yes. Like a vinyl front, very nice, lightweight, diamond plate rock guard here. Yep. Now this is going to be aluminum framed well. Yes. It gets that price and point up. And siding. Exactly. It gets the price point up, but the weight down. Very nice storage right there. Manual stabilizing jacks and well. What, what the are they doing? This, okay, I'm going to tell you guys something. The aim is the smallest and lightest weight. And it's also going to be the cheapest. Right. They're now giving you solid steps. I love it, Will. I, love I know, it. I know. We were in Ohio and all we kept seeing is those aluminum fold up steps. Right. Very nice solid steps. I love this. Nice grab handle here. And it does have the Arctic insulation four season package. Right over here, Will, we can see that it does come with a little capital grill. No, nice. It's sitting up on the bed right there. Okay. Um, that does go on the outside. A very nice power awning with LED lights. Potable water fill right there. Potable, potable. Yes, sir. And then look at his tire, Will. It's the Westlake. I love that. ST225-75 R15. Cool. Single tire right there, Will. Easy to easy to tow. Uh, this unit is prepped for the tire link. Tire pressure monitoring system from Lippert. Power on the outside there. Very nice exterior. Okay. And it does have the manual stabilizing jack. Correct. I didn't say yeah. that. Uh, so that's where that grill is supposed to go. Yep, yep, right there, just so everybody knows. And then coming around the back, well, we do have a very nice Furion Instant Hot Tankless Water Heater. Right here's our little spray port if you do need water for the outside. Okay. Uh, there is a very small hitch that looks like a two inch hitch, maybe a one inch hitch. All right. Guys, that's going to be for like 100 pounds. It's going to be for like a bike rack. Yep. And then make sure, oh, and then yeah, make sure you don't over overdo that. Nice ladder to get up on the roof, 300 pounds. And then right here, well, of course, it is a 30 amp service nice. right there. Very nice small travel trailer. Now, just so everybody knows, there's Imagine, Imagine XLS, yep. and Imagine AIM. The regular Imagine is a high-end travel trailer. Right. The Imagine XLS is a 
high-end ultra lightweight travel trailer and then this would be like a super super right. lightweight. well what's interesting is they put they didn't put solid steps on the XLS. There it is. Well, I don't know why. I don't get it. Maybe it's like a late mid model change. Maybe. And maybe all like the late Imagines are gonna have that. So I maybe don't know. hopefully next year they'll all have it. Hopefully. But well, I do like how they don't give it to you because it's a very it easy is. dislike. Grand Design always does it right, so we have trouble finding dislikes. Yep. Right here's your black tank flush. Right there, there's where you dump your tanks. Right there. Very yep. nice. Great placement. And then here, Will, is the other side of the storage. You got your water hook up there, battery disconnect, um, potable water fill, potable, potable. I love how this is still all enclosed right there. I do too, yeah, it's Very, nice. very nice. Well, well, the outside of the Imagine aim looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go, take a look. Okay. Take a look, Will. Okay. And again, make sure you guys stick around. We're gonna show you the bunkhouse one in a little bit all right nice bed up front you got your um seating area there living area kitchen and then bathroom in the back it's guys, simple this episode is sponsored by lippert lippert owns furion guys furion makes the best appliances like the awesome instant hot tankless water heater if you have a travel trailer and you don't have a tankless water heater go to furion.com we'll link it down below Pick yourself up an instant hot tankless water heater. Easy to install at a dealership. Absolutely. So go pick up a Bob, um, a box of it. Right here, Will, we do have very nice storage. Okay. And again, Will, this is Grand Design's cheapest unit. Right. It's still, it's still Grand Design. Uh, hangers right there. Look at the nice storage. Wow. Very, very nice, Sir William. Yep. I'm loving it. Nice looking uh, headboard. Well, that's more of, of a Tesseract, to be honest with you. Yeah, it is actually, huh? Right. Nanu, nanu. And then right over there, Will, we do have a very nice um, little cubby right there, power and USB. Now this bed's a little weird, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna kind of stink for right. that person on the inside. We'll touch on that a little bit later. I don't think there's storage underneath, but because you got these yes cabinets very nice right there yep and then what's that on the end right there over here you have your ac but then you also have power usb and usb c right there i love it will i love it very and nice and you have all three in that cubby over there right over here we do have a nice little slide out yeah well you don't even need to put the slide out out no you really don't um we do have a nice blinds Okay. Slow rise privacy blind. And then a jackknife sofa here. So it is kind of weird that he even put a slide, to be honest. Oops, trying to light myself on fire. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, I do like the slide. Yeah. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this sofa style. I know. Right here we do have this. And then, is this? Yeah. Yep. Kind of like the jackknife style. Exactly. Very, very good. We will touch on that a little bit later. Something that I do love. There's power in USB and USB-C everywhere in here. There is, yeah. Uh, Will, show us the kitchen. Okay, pretty simple. TV space, of course, is gonna be combo um, with the kitchen, you know, with all that counter. And the dresser space. drawers, probably. Yep, exactly. And it's gonna be directly across from this TV. Yes. Storage up top. I definitely like the cabinetry in here. Oh yeah. Looks nice. And there. Nice window on your camping side. This is interesting. Tons of countertop space, Will. Yes. I wonder why they did that. It's just a small unit, Will. Yeah, small unit. They. Oh, I know. It's probably hard to get the plumbing in here. Ah. A little bit of countertop space. Two burner graystone cooktop. Oh, and I forgot this um, rain shield right there. And then no oven, but you do have a little convection microwave here. Very nice. Drawer right there. Yes, sir. And storage right here. Yes behind me put this down so it doesn't break see some storage up top right there okay and then a nice nor cold refrigerator nice and freeze it for me. just like that there you go well this we're speeding by this review yeah but we're gonna take a look at the others right? exactly okay, exactly cool. you know give us a second y'all where are you going will is it not time 
It's now time ah, for the MSRP. I almost forgot. Burr, 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 burr. Come on back over here, Will. People okay. want to hear the. People are loving it so far. They want to yes. hear the price. Okay. And again, guys, the price is going to be around the same for all of them. Yeah. MSRP on this unit here, stock number two eight zero seven three four, is thirty four thousand four hundred and ninety dollars. Will. That is MSRP. Sale price, we're not allowed to advertise the sale price due to Grand Design's advertisement policies. But Will, regardless of what, we do have a sale price. If you guys are interested in this unit, that unit, that unit, or any Grand Design, please go to generalrv.com slash matscash. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Will, we sell Grand Design in every region of America. Yes, we do. So if you guys are buying a Grand Design, or if you bought a Grand Design at the Hershey RV Show, and you want to get an even better price, contact us. Yeah. Because if you bought not from General RV... You overpaid. You said it, not me. Will, stand in that shower. Okay. Okay, it's a small trailer, so... You know, I'm going to... Wow. Give them a little bit of extra. It's a 24 by 36 shower. Let me shut the door. If I can like do a full 360. Oh, the door can't get to latch. I can, it's just the door won't stay shut. I'm gonna pass it. Ding! That's the shower test seal approval. Given, don't get well, me wrong. That was the right move. Yeah. It's a single, it's 20, it's a 20 foot, your truck is longer than this right. trailer. Right. That was the right move, Will. Mm-hmm. You want to know what else is the right move? Not that. This is not a prime poop position. Womp womp. It's a great position, actually. Don't you think? If it wasn't for the plastic toilet? No, because my foot would be sticking out anyway. Oh, would it? Yep. Okay. A little bit of storage there. Nice uh, sink area. Okay. Mirrored medicine cabinet. And oh, liquefied. Well, the new lavender scent. Okay. Guys, this is not available at the time of this filming, but by the time you're watching, it is available now on Amazon. Go to primepoopmusician.com to pick up the lavender scent. And if you want the orange scent, we also have it at primepoopmusician.com and your local General RV. There you go. And hopefully we were able to give out bobbleheads well. Yes. And if not, then we will figure out a way to give out bobbleheads on the internet. And if you guys didn't get a bobblehead, I do apologize so much. I don't know what to tell you. Like, oh. it was like an in-person thing. Yeah. But we're probably getting a lot of emails right now, a lot of hate mail. Right. If they didn't go to the Hershey show, we'll figure out something and try to do it again. But it's just, like, really expensive to do that. It is, I know. And so the whole thing was, like, the Amazon fees... Instead of the feeds, we were doing the yeah. bobblehead. You know, neither here nor there. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Now, before we show you the other ones, we got to give you three things we love and three things we don't like about this. Will, let's do dislikes. Okay. I'm going to go first. Okay. First and foremost is the single axle. Yeah. This is a lot of weight for that one axle. I checked the cargo carrying capacity. It was only like seven, 800 pounds, which is not much. It's not much at all. Mm -hmm. But again, this is for that mid-size SUV. Yeah. That's just like number one. Well, just like number two for me is gonna be the bed. The person sleeping right there is going to hate crawling in and out of this travel trailer. Yeah. I apologize, it just is what it is. That's number two. Well, I hope you don't have a dislike because I'm going all the way. I do. Is it this? I'm just kidding. It actually, I actually have two though. Okay, well we'll do four dislikes. You know why? Because America. That's why. Well, dislike number three. I hate this sofa. This sofa, I'm fine with if it's a Murphy bed. Can but you? Can I tell you my thoughts? I'm fine with that sofa if they didn't put a slide in. If they wanted right, to keep it shorter. If right. they're gonna put a slide in, give me do a, a plus good sofa. sofa. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's dislike number three, and then we'll dislike 3. number four. 3.5. <laughs> um. Truthfully, there was no reason for a sink in here. And you guys know I, I... Wow, that's normally my dislike. It normally is, yeah. But in here, like, it's taking up so much room. That would have actually been a great toilet placement. Yeah. And literally, your sink is right here. Wow. And again, I know some people don't like it. So, you know, hey, I guess this is what you wanted. Dude, let me tell you something. Will will not touch my fingers and my hands. Because he know he's like a germ freak. Right. And for Will to say that... Good job, Will. Thanks. 
That's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this. Well, I'm going to go start with the interior. This is the lightest, cheapest type yes. of travel trailer you can get. And Grand Design still killed it. Yep. Oh, on the interior. Great freaking job. Yep. Everything looks fan freaking tastic. I love it. That's number one. Will, what's like number two? Number two, I have to give him credit for that shower. Yes, sir. Again, it was probably the worst shower that I've ever passed. Right. But it's such a small travel trailer. Yes. Um, they did a really, really good job with, with squeezing it in. That's number two. Well, number three has... What are you saying? I was going to say the solid steps. Oh, yeah. Solid steps and, and all the, the countertop, countertop space. space. Again, yep. for how short this travel trailer is. To, and again, it's the multi-purpose. Of course. But, you know, the fact that you have that much cooking space is great. Well, well. Oh, 975 pounds. Of cargo carrying capacity? Yeah, which still is not a lot. Okay. Let's, um... Oh, and that was an inch and a quarter receiver hitch on the outside. Okay. For 150 pounds. 150 pounds. Good to know. Will, let's check out these two other floor plates. Okay. A little bonus action for you. Yeah. Me. This one is an Imagine 18 BH. Okay. Okay. See, this is what a I little bit find. longer. Wow. Yeah. This is great, this actually. Is great. I don't mind the sofa with the Murphy. Yep. Murphy, how you doing? Oh wow. Love this kitchen. Wow. Look at all that. This is cool. And this look, is cool because it's yep. eating space, desk space, or just countertop space. Countertop space, yeah. I love that. You got your corner bunk beds the bunk here. Bunk beds are great too. Yep, no no sink in here. The same same bathroom. Oh. oh, and liquefied! Our brand of easy to drop in pods right here. Very nice. I actually don't mind that sink either. Like, get it out of the way if somebody really has a thing about it. Yep. All right, drop the sink down. All right, well, we got another one right outside. Okay. And that one's an even smaller BH. Okay. The 15 BH. You're probably going to feel it in this one. There's no slides in here. And it's shorter. Right. But this is a really good floor plan. Is it? I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, they did something really smart in here. See that? Ah. Yeah. It helps it feel not so tight when you first walk in. Yep. And then the bunk bed's right there. Okay. Oh, so that's like the main bed and then yeah. the bunk bed. Cool. Check then, out this. No, go oh. front. You got the dinette. Great kitchen space. Right. So what's the weight on these? These are very light. Uh, yeah, 3,600 pounds. And right here's your little bathroom. Wait, this is still one axle? Yeah. All the aims are one axle. Okay. Oh, oh. liquefied. Nice. Perfect. But I like this. I do too. Because it's like, this is perfect for like a small family. Yep, exactly. You know? Now, if your kids are always coming with you, that or, might And especially not be if they're ideal. older. Right. Then they'll be sleeping on top of you. Yeah. Well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a comment down below. Let us know what AIM was your favorite. The 15BH, the 18BH, or that 16SL or ML or something like that. Yep. If you guys are interested in buying any RV, please go to generalrv.com slash matscash. We'll link it all down in the YouTube description below. We'll link Liquify down in the YouTube description below. And again, it doesn't matter what RV in the world. If you didn't buy it from General RV, guys, I have bad news. You pay too much. I got good news. There's still time if you're watching this video. Contact us and a member of our team. We'll get you the best price in America. That's right. Will? Guys, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I definitely like these little aims. I love what they're doing here. And I think they actually laid them out really, really well. Yep. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like and three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And we'll, we'll see you next time.